Hey guys, Linda aka the Gamer Girl here, and this is somewhat of a PSA slash rant. And the reason why I wanted to do a PSA to many of the people out there in the world. <sighs> okay, so I came across this copy a while back after I lost my other copy when I was traveling somewhere. I don't know what happened to it. And I got a new copy from a local store here. I'm not going to worry about the store. They didn't know. It's not easy to figure out. So as I'm playing this, I'm going to show some footage. I started noticing something weird because there's a save copy on the file and it's got a bunch of like X's and E's and something along the lines of like every time I boot it up, the name says the name and then it's some weird like glitchy thing on the end of it. So I didn't think anything of it. I just figured somehow that person decided to be weird and put like 50 million things. So I didn't bother with it. As I'm starting the new save, I leave other saves on there just, just to have them on there because I don't have the time to, you know, delete saves. I know I'm lazy. Oh well. As I'm playing it, my game won't load up. It's glitching. It's acting weird. It starts, you know, the minute I leave the treehouse to go somewhere, people are frozen in this game. I don't know what's going on. And then I get past, so I decide, you know, I'm going to get past a certain point and just go to, like, you know, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to walk to the tree. As I leave that main area in the beginning of the game, it crashes on me. It freezes, and, like, a RetroPie symbol, like, screen pops up. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I talk to a couple people that I know. Uh, Do You Nerd, T-Belly, Megadan, J-Love, you know, Die Hard. BK, and I'm like, what's going on? Do you think this is hacked? I, I can't figure it out. Sure enough, I decide to go check out the next save and see what's going on with it. This save is completely hacked. I see maxed out everything. I see maxed out hearts. I see maxed out tw twigs. I see maxed out everything. I was like, there's no way somebody's going to get that much into detail about something that is a minor thing to some people, but to me, I'm like, that's a lot of effort to get that far into a game and max out every single thing. That's too much time. Like, so for me, I'm like, let me play the game. Let me see what's going on. As I'm going through everything, it freaks out and it does the same thing, but this time it does it differently. I see that it's at the final boss. You can go up to the final boss if you want and you could try to beat it. So I go down the treehouse again, and I get all the way down to where I need to go, and again, I couldn't even get to the Forbidden Forest, I couldn't get to anywhere, I couldn't go to, you know, because I, I could hear her song playing, you know, in, in the background, but it crashed the minute I got to the bridge, and that's what I'm getting at, is I tried saving this, I tried deleting the other save states, I tried doing different things, and it still crashes, it's... And, and I tried the, the things that T-Belly and uh, Tom from Do You Nerd said, which is to delete everything off of the system and put it back on. And it still is acting up. It's still giving me weird glitchy stuff. So I this, this copy right here is a broken copy. I cannot play this. I mean, I could try playing it and, and see if it goes through, but I have the fear that if I get to a certain point, so many hours plugged into this game... It's going to crash on me and I'm going to have an issue. So basically the rant is and a PSA is please don't hack Legend of Zelda for several reasons. It's an amazing game. It's difficult. It's hard to play. It's long hours. But there is so much joy from going through every single thing and figuring out. It's a difficult game on, re on the reason of it's, it's always been like that for Legend of Zelda. If you play any Legend of Zelda game, it's going to take you a good time. You're not going to get through within like a 10 hour sitting and be completely done with everything. It's going to take you a very, very long time. It's going to be like 50 hours or more for most games. But the end reward is an amazing story. You meet so many people. You get to see so many side quests, so many shrines or different things that are going on with everything like that. And for that, I recommend everybody play a Legend of Zelda game.
the way it's meant to be played. Difficult all the way through and go through. Now, I'm not saying, you know, don't do cheat codes, don't do hacks, don't do things like that. that that's your prerogative. That's fine. But here's the thing that I don't like, is when you sell it back to the store that you basically giving them, you know, a, the copy that they're supposed to be able to play. Somebody would put this on and go, oh, it's working. But for somebody who actually goes through and plays it all the way, they're going to see that it's not working correctly. And I got a broken copy. But I'm not going to be a jerk and go sell it back to... You know, the local game stores, the mom and pops, or, or to GameStop because I don't want the next person to have to deal with the fact that they might not play it right away because a lot of the companies, a lot of the places have, you know, two-day policy, seven-day policy, and then you can return it and get your full refund. Some people buy games in bulk, like they'll buy a couple 3DS games, a couple other games, and they won't see it right away. And mind you, not everybody's going to know that you can hack a game because Lacey told me this and I, f I forgot about it. It's a cartridge based game. You can hack anything that's a cartridge base. You can you can put a cheat code in it and, and make it your own. But for me, I don't know if this is ever going to work correctly. Like for me, that, that makes me hesitant to play the game. So I switched off to Breath of the Wild because I was going to play this and then Breath of the Wild. But that's all I'm asking. If you're going to hack a game, Go back in, delete whatever you have put on the cartridge because you know specifically what you have done to a cartridge. You know what you have put in there, what cheat codes, what stuff, and you know how you used it and what hacker or, or RetroPie or emulator that you put in there into that little cartridge or to a, a NES game or whatever. You know specifics. So please, if you're going to hack something, please... Go back, take a few minutes, and delete everything off of that cartridge so I, or anybody who you sell the game to, will get <laughs> the correct game. And that's all I'm asking. It's just, please, take the extra time to do that. Because if you don't, we're going to have so many broken games. And then this common game becomes a rare game. Many people don't think about this. Common games are usually several reasons why. People stop caring about a common game because it's only like 10 bucks or less. And they're like, eh, who cares? So that trade value is like 5 bucks. But if enough people keep doing that over time, it's going to get to the point where it's going to be uncommon. And then it's going to be rare. And then I will not be able to get a copy eventually because it's like, well... It's whatever. And I'm going to have people in the comments who are going to be like, well, shut up. You don't care. You know, no, 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 And And to those people, it is very frustrating to buy a game that is supposed to be, you know, a game that is played a certain way. And then somebody hacks into it and then you can't play the game correctly. So now I have to go hunt down another copy. And yes, it is a common game, but it's just the fact that I wasted... 15 bucks whatever the price of the game is worth now so to me i'm just gonna keep the case keep the manual whatever i, I spent that on and just figure out what i want to do with the cartridge so i I'm, I'm gonna try and see if i can find something online as to what that hack was and try to you know take it off but i can't because i don't have the machine so to you please understand that from my viewpoint, I don't know what's going on. So I have no idea how to fix it other than to try to delete the stuff. And I still see glitches. So it tells me that there's more than just whatever there is on there. The game is crashing because I don't know if Nintendo did a, a you know, like a, a boot thing where if you cheat, like some games do that, where if you cheat, they see that and they crash the game or they put something on there where it says cheater on there or it makes it more difficult or the zombies come after you more. I have no idea. So your 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 argument about well I can do whatever I want with that game ends the minute you try to sell it to some other person. Because I can't play a game that's hacked or broken. And that's all I'm asking is just please take the time, 
put it back to where you got it. And then from there, hack away. Go crazy. I don't care. If you're going to keep the game, by all means, hack every game you have. But don't sell it back if you're going to do that. Don't bother, you know, going through your, your games. And if you do hack it, put it somewhere in the case. Even if you don't want the seller to see it. You know what I mean? You know, like, say you're, you're reselling it back to, like, GameStop or whatever. Put it somewhere in there so that the person who buys it sees in there, hey, it's this hack, go here, fix that. If you don't want to take the time to do that. Give me something to where I can figure out how to fix it on my own. So that next time... I know, like, okay, so this is what hacks that are being used. I can go in there. I can go to this system. I can go wherever I need to do. And maybe sometimes it's not even, you know, having to have a specific machine. It's just a cable that you plug into your 3DS from your PC and you hack it that way. But I don't know. So I have no idea how to fix this. That's all I'm asking from anybody who is hacking or whatever. If you are a person that hacks games and you see this video and you see what I'm showing you, the boot screens and everything like that, can you please, in the comments, give me some ideas because I know T-Belly, Tom, Lacey, BK, J-Love, and Die Hard and, and Mega Dan all have told me, like, different ideas. It would not, they were talking to me and it's still glitching. It's still having issues. It's still not working. So... If you know of any tricks or things that would help with the situation, please let me know in the comments below. I'm grateful for anything because I want, I want this copy to work. I don't want to have to go and buy another copy and track it down and have this thing just sit here because technically it's just, it's just a piece of plastic right now because I can't play it. It boots up to a certain point and crashes. And I, it, it, when I did delete the save states and re did the, you know, the system and, and had it re-upload and everything like that. It's gotten farther, but it's still glitching and it's still getting to the point where people are frozen in place and it's hard to record because I'll be trying to show it, but it doesn't show. And that boot screen that I, that I recorded took forever to actually finally record because it doesn't do it every time. Sometimes it just crashes and it just goes to a, a blank screen and then it goes right back to the home menu thing and I'm, and it's frustrating to show you guys what I'm dealing with with this game because of the simple fact that I keep trying different things and it's not working and then when I do try to show you guys the errors <laughs> it's not recording at all for the errors so you have to mind my frustrations it's been a while since I've been trying to get this to work and I've just moved on from the game to Breath of the Wild and Mason Spider-Man and I was playing Last of Us 2 and everything like that but I I've had the worst luck with Ocarina of Time. I, I don't know why I can never play Ocarina of Time because I started playing it, got through a little bit of it, and then I lost the game and I lost my progress. I was, I don't know, maybe because I had grown up um, probably about 40 hours in because you figure he was older, he's in the temple, he was going through everything. I was going through, I was getting pretty far, so... Yeah, I just don't know what, like, going on with Ocarina of Time. It just never wants me to play. And I didn't get to play it on the 64, so. I just really want to play the game. I really do. So, thank you guys for listening to this PSA slash rant. It's not directed at you guys, per se. It's just directed at, just in general, to anybody who hacks and resells them and doesn't care to bother to fix the situation it's it's just to remind people that there is games out there so just for anybody be warned double check your cartridges if you buy them from GameStop play them for a little bit longer than normal because I usually just check to make sure they boot up and now I'm going to keep a little bit of hours in them and play to see where they're at so thank you guys for watching Hope you all have a great day. Keep on gaming, everybody. And remember, you're all awesome gamers. So, talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.